up guys and welcome to a new video my name is frank and i react to metal music and today i'm here with something interesting i'm here with band made but this time not a song but an interview because uh, a few days ago to the point that i'm recording this video uh, they went uh, on a tv show on hk uh, songs of tokyo and they did a little bit of a short interview and they played a couple of songs and i reacted to uh, uh, the songs they played there in a separate video by the way because i didn't want the video to be super duper long it wouldn't be like uh, 40 35 40 minutes video in total uh, with my comments and stuff like that so i split it in two parts and uh, this one is going to be uh, just about the interview and uh, i think um, i already uh, uploaded uh, the songs too so you will find it on the channel uh, slightly uh, after this one i think uh, and uh, i really enjoy uh, their interviews because they are very interesting and uh, funny funny personalities you know i don't know if they are really, really like that or they exaggerate their traits you know uh, they, to be like a sage persona kind of thing but uh, nonetheless i really enjoy uh, seeing them interact with each other and talk with interviewers and stuff like that even though i i guess like that lately i watched a couple of interviews um by myself and they seem to be a little bit more serious they joke a little bit less you know what i mean but uh, we'll see in this one how they act and uh, definitely very excited for this one and uh, uh, there is subtitles too i think so i'm gonna be able to understand everything they're saying very cool <laughs> but guys before i start this reaction please consider subscribing to my channel uh, leave a comment if you have more suggestions for videos uh, or songs to react to here on the channel and uh, you know just want to say hi whatever and they're gonna start Rock fans worldwide can't get enough of the group's made-like outfits and headbanging tracks. Oh, English. Nice. Since their first appearance at a US event nine years ago, Band Maid has continued to perform overseas. Last year, they played at one of the largest rock festivals in the US. The girls rocked out in front of more than 10,000 music fans. Wow. <laughs> wow, people. I watched that one as well. In 2023, the overseas offers have kept rolling in. Now <laughs> <laughs> but I love like every interview they do like ever like since like 2014 and so on and so forth every time their interviewers uh, has to comment about Miku saying Po every time like because let, let's be fair if you are not a fan of the band and you don't know them um, it's very weird because if you are Japanese, I think you think she's acting like a pigeon, right? Like, uh, of course, we we know her. She know, we know that uh, her persona is being a pigeon, like human pigeon. Like, I think she said like nine hundred or something like that. Here's old pigeon, something. Like that. <laughs> but you know, if you don't know them, um, must be weird. Like. I wanted to send saying Paul like at the end of every sentence. So, so yeah. <laughs> I know why. So, I know why. I don't know で、<笑><笑> あららら。ささみ皆さん毎年のようにもう海外でライブもされていてお伺いですか活動の手応えというのは。そうですとね。ライブのことをお給仕と呼んでおりまして、もうすごく海外の方もご主人様お嬢様たくさんご帰宅させ
元結成当初から世界征服っていうのを大きな目標の一つとして私たち掲げて始めたんですけど。Kobato Miku formed Band Maid ten years ago while working at a Maid Cafe in Akihabara. I heard that story. All it took was story. one music video for them to reach audiences worldwide. First music video. After being featured on an international online radio station, the music video for Thrill went viral. The visuals of girls in maid outfits walking out quickly gained online buzz. Pushing band made into the global market. でその後にアメリカからフェスのオファーを急にいただいてそこから海外に実際に回るようになっていきましたじゃそのオファーって本当これがリアルなのかどうなのかってちょっと疑ったりもすごく疑いました一番最初はブッが入る再生回数が回って直後もなんかのバグに引っかかったんじゃないかとか、うん、ちょっと信じられなかったんですよね本当かなっぽって思いながらみんなで行ったら本当にいたっぽっていう<笑>そこでじゃあ初めてもう受け入れられたっていうそうですぽそうですぽ、うん、もう一つこう乗り越えるっていうところで言うと、はい、やっぱり言葉の壁も必ずこうあると思うんですよそうですぽね曲に関してもわざわざ英語の歌詞というよりは英語と日本語を混ぜて書くことが多いんですけどぽ、うんうんはい、その曲で日本語を学んでいただける方とかも多いので、四、うん、文字熟語を使ったり、えー、漢字を入れたりっていうので、えー、それを面白がってくださる方がとても多いですぽ。Four character idioms use four kanji characters to express wisdom or life lessons. Man Made's lyrics feature a lot of these four character idioms. Oh, my God. ね、漢字が4つつながって一つ一ついろんな意味があってつなげるとこんな意味なんだみたいなのが発見があるからそ,のそれを教えてくれる優しさってすごいね。YouTube とかには歌詞を載っけてたりとか、はい、その英訳したものを載せたりしているので、うん、結構そのこの漢字が好きなんだよって言ってくださる海外の方も多いですと。Man, this is very, very interesting. So,、uh, basically, the stories that I heard that、uh, Miku formed a band、uh, after she worked at the Maid Cafe in Japan.、Uh, and、uh, that's where she got the Maid outfit idea from. It's true. Because I don't think I ever watched another、um, interview that,、uh, where they、uh, said about it. But I heard this, this, this thing basically, and I read this thing、uh, on a lot of comments under their videos, and it、uh, seems, seems to be true because she said it、uh, here as well. That's very interesting. And、uh, um, also, very interesting the fact that they basically only made Miku speak. <laughs> Miku, Miku is totally their spoke person, you know. And、uh, I mean, to be honest, that's a very good、uh, idea. Because the way she speaks and the way she interacts with people、um, is amazing. Like, she's got a very bubbly and interesting and alluring kind of personality about her. So,、um, and she's、uh, very, well, very well spoken as well. So, she's perfect to be their spokesperson and basically the quote unquote leader of the band. And she's the, the person that formed, formed the band as well. So, so she's behind. Uh, she's the mind behind the band made as well.、Right? So it's very interesting. And、uh, you can tell that they all have a great time. They're all very happy, especially Kanami.、Uh, Kanami seems to be very interested when that,、uh, I think it's an American guy.、Uh, I, I, I can tell because when、uh, he said,、uh, Welcome, Omen Princess, that she, he sounded American to me at least. Uh, Kanemi seems to be very interested in, in the way he speaks Japanese because I can tell that his, his Japanese is very, 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 very good. So Kanemi was like, <laughs> was like in awe、uh, watching him speak Japanese. That's very interesting. At least I got that,、uh, that feeling. That's really very, very enjoyable. And、um, yeah, man,、uh, their story is、uh, very interesting.、Uh, also, the fact that、uh, when their first video trail, 
uh, went uh, on trending on YouTube and become very popular. They didn't even, even they didn't even believe it at, uh, at first. You know what I mean? That is uh, kind of hilarious. You know, they basically uh, found themselves like all of a sudden becoming popular. You know, and uh, nowadays, especially from people that likes uh, rock and uh, Japan in general, they are pretty well known. I'm guessing, like of course, they can become even more well known if they keep touring and stuff like that but uh, i think uh, many people said that uh, uh, right now they are they are like together with the uh, baby metal they are one of the most uh, known uh, rock japanese bands like worldwide right and uh, they really did come a long way very very inspiring so to speak but yeah guys uh, if you enjoyed this video please consider subscribing to the channel give me a like and a comment if you have more suggestions for me i just want to say or whatever and definitely we'll see each other in the next one Bo. <laughs>